In the previous lecture, we had discussion on law of conservation of electric charge and in this lecture, we will have discussion on electric current. But before understanding what do we mean by an electric current, we must know the general meaning of current. So what do we mean by current? Current means movement in a particular direction. Therefore, Electric current means movement of electric charge in a particular direction. Defining electric current in a more proper way, we can say that movement or transfer of electric charge through an area is known as electric current. In this figure, you can see we are having one area and let's say the total area is equal to A and through this area, electrons are passing. And as electrons are passing through the area, there will be electric current through this area. And in this particular case, we are having electrons. Therefore, electrons are carrying the electric charge. And let's say there are total n number of electrons. Therefore, Ne will be the total charge. And the n number of electrons we are having are crossing this area in t seconds time. Now we will define instantaneous current. Instantaneous current is represented by small i letter and it is equal to small amount of charge passing through this area in small amount of time. So this is how we define instantaneous current and the representation for constant current is capital I. From here we are getting one more way to define the electric current. From here we can see that electric current is equal to time rate of change of charge. So we can say that electric current is equal to time rate of change of charge. In the case of electric circuits, electric charge we are talking about is usually carried by the electrons. And the electric charge can also be carried by the ions, but it cannot be carried by the atoms. And in some cases, like in case of plasma, the electric charge is carried by electrons as well as ions. So you should remember this point that in case of electric circuits, electric charge is usually carried by electrons. Now we will talk about the unit of electric current. The SI unit of electric current is Ampere and it is represented by capital A and it is also represented by AMP but this is unofficial and informal way to represent Ampere. Now we will define one Ampere when one Coulomb charge passes through one meter square area in one second time, then we say that the electric current is equal to one ampere. Now you can see the importance of area while defining the electric current. One ampere current is equal to one coulomb charge passing through one meter square area in one second. And we know one Coulomb charge will be obtained when 6.24 multiplied to 10 raised to power 18 electrons are combined. So to have one ampere current, we need 6.24 multiplied to 10 raised to power 18 electrons crossing one meter square area in one second. So this is how we define one ampere current and ampere is the unit which is named after French physicist André Marie Ampere and now I will give you some examples of current depending on their behavior with change in time. The first current is known as direct current. This current is known as direct current because its value is not changing with time its value is constant throughout. The second current is known as sinusoidal current or simply alternating current. 
the third current is the exponential current you can see the current is rising exponentially and in the last example the current is known as damped sinusoidal current it is damped sinusoidal current because the amplitude of the current is decreasing with increase in time so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section we will discuss about conventional current and natural current in the next lecture